Muck and gut typically refers to the process of cleaning and clearing out a space, such as a room, a building, or outdoor area that has been affected by a disaster, renovation, or other circumstances that require thorough cleaning and removal of debris. While the specific steps may vary depending on the situation, here are some general guidelines to follow for a muck and gut process. Step one, assess the situation. Begin by shutting off all utilities to the home. Start by assessing the extent of the damage and the work required. Determine the safety risks and make sure you have the necessary equipment and protective gear, such as gloves, masks, goggles, and sturdy footwear. Step two, develop a plan. Create a plan outlining the sequence of tasks, the order of operations, and the allocation of resources. Consider factors such as waste disposal, safety protocols, and any specialized tools or assistance you may need. Step three, remove debris and large objects. Start by cleaning out any large objects such as fallen furniture, broken materials, or damaged equipment. Use appropriate tools like shovels, wheelbarrows, or heavy duty gloves to handle and transport the debris. Separate reusable items from non-reusable items for proper disposal or salvage. Step four, extract the water. If there's any standing water or excessive moisture, use pumps, wet dry vacuums, or other water extraction tools to remove the water. Be cautious of potential electrical hazards and follow the safety guidelines for working with water. Step five, remove damaged materials. Identify and remove damaged materials such as drywall, insulation, flooring, or ceiling tiles. Using appropriate tools like hammers, pry bars, or utility knives to carefully remove these materials. Step six, clean surfaces. Thoroughly clean all surfaces, including walls, floors, and fixtures. Use appropriate cleaning agents and disinfectants to remove dirt, debris, and any contaminants. Follow the recommended guidelines for disinfection and safety, especially if the space was affected by mold, mildew, or hazardous substances. Step seven, dry the area. Ensure proper ventilation and use fans or dehumidifiers to dry the space effectively. This step is crucial in preventing mold growth and further damage. Monitor the humidity levels and continue the drying process until the area is completely dry. Step eight, inspect for any remaining hazards. Conduct a final inspection to identify any potential safety hazards or areas that require additional attention. Look for structural damage, electrical issues, or other risks that need to be addressed before the space can be deemed safe for use. Step nine, dispose of the waste. Properly dispose of all waste materials according to local regulations and guidelines. Separate recyclable items from non-recyclable ones. And if dealing with hazardous materials, consult with the appropriate authorities or waste management for proper disposal. Step 10, restore and rebuild. Once the muck and gut process is complete, Evaluate what needs to be repaired, replaced, or restored. This may involve hiring professionals or contractors for specialized tasks like electrical work, plumbing, or construction. Remember, muck and gut processes can vary depending on the specific circumstances. So it's important to adapt these steps to your situation and seek professional assistance when necessary.